Welcome to the Numerology and Astrology for Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2021. My name is Suzanne Wagner. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoy your wonderful Christmas and have a great time with family. Stay healthy and stay safe. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 14. And if you add the one and the four together, you get the Healing Earth Energy number five. The number five brings our awareness to our own healing and the teachings that are inherent in that healing. Often it is the process of our healing that brings forth truths that become the framework for our own wisdom. Regardless, if, regardless of if anyone thinks they are in a healing process or not, life is constantly teaching us things that will become something of significance once we fully understand them. Too often in life we think we know what is good for us but often that is wrong, or just a piece in the journey towards self-awareness. The ego loves to prove its independence and that it knows what to do, when in reality the ego is a slave driver of the soul and it will push it over and over again to a breaking point, and that breaking point is often some sort of physical collapse. Once the body breaks, the mind needs to make sense out of the event and seeks to understand the steps leading up to the breakdown within the body. Awareness is something that comes in through small bits and pieces of clarity. One piece leads to another piece. With each additional piece, the mind and ego like to believe that they have gotten to the bottom of the issue. But in reality, it's just another piece. Clarity comes from a level of acceptance and surrender to the truth of the depth of our dysfunction and obsessive patterns around self-importance, self-worth, and dysfunctional values in what we believe is our purpose and mission in this life. The number five is Chiron. Chiron is an asteroid in astrology, but it is also a Greek myth. <laughs> and it's the story of the wounded healer teacher. It is the process of determining that we are here to go through a physical process. And that process, um, we are going to make choices and decisions that can and will wound us. Then life will direct us towards our own healing. And then from that commitment to learn and grow by uncovering our own dysfunction and levels of self-deception, we become wiser and able to share our knowledge with others in ways that support their own quest for healing. No one can ever really heal another. All we can do is open doors and be a beacon of a possibility for them to move towards. And our faith and belief in the healing process and the proof of our own healing becomes the catalyst for others to embark on their own journey. The astrology today. We are finally at the last square between Uranus and Saturn. If you have been feeling uncomfortable as the tension has been mounting, you would not be alone in that experience. Saturn in Aquarius is one that has put many on edge and there is such a desire to get going and move out of this horrible pattern in which we find ourselves and see in the world. But there are those that use tradition as a weapon against all forms of progress and change, and they have been trying to aggressively bludgeon anyone they can to become so afraid that certain types of progress grind to a halt. But such souls only hurt themselves as well as others. Life is not static. Life must adapt and change with the, tremen the trends and flows. Otherwise, we are doomed to repeat the horrific patterns of our ancestors and ensnare dysfunction rather than embrace progress. Jupiter and Uranus quintile, as Jupiter prepares to leave Aquarius in a few days, try to appreciate those in your life that bring new insight into those stuck places within your mind and soul. The moon moves out of happy-go-lucky Leo and transitions into meticulous Virgo. It is time to get organized and figure out your next steps. There is no time to waste. What lies ahead is going to require great effort. And if you are not a bit nervous about how to do it all, then you are not paying attention closer, closely. Know that arguing is not going to help and you will not be able to manipulate anyone towards your position. Notice all those knots. That is why it is time to walk away. Better to be on your own than depend upon others when they hold the intent to cause harm and suffering. For some, the stressful circumstances are shocking to witness, and now it seems there is a time crunch to get things done rapidly. Mars moves closer to a trine, and while it will be exact tomorrow, it is adding to the urgency today. You will have to take the lead and make some choices. Those choices will be healing. The stuckness is blatantly obvious, and your soul can see what is needed to move ahead. So, here we are, trying to take charge in the midst of attempting to fend off attacks from a brutal world. The focus needs to be on you and your family. 
that will lead us to more cooperative environments where our purpose will continue to open up into those places where we have been protecting something very personal and precious. My quote for today, healing comes not from fixing the issue, but from changing behaviors that contribute to the disease that has arisen. And my blog for today, there are places where we all go into denial. Often life teaches us to ignore signs that are there to tell us that we are approaching an edge. Such things creep in on us slowly. We become very accustomed to extending our energy out a bit at a time until we discover that we are out on a limb. We have pushed an issue to a breaking point and now any further step becomes extremely dangerous and one that will have potentially grave consequences. I wish in life we could learn without pushing ourselves to a breaking point. I wish that awareness would be more clearly defined. I know that I personally have had many warnings and I have tried to adjust and make the necessary shifts only to discover that even more are required. We are here to discover all the hidden places where we have been in denial of our body needs, what our soul needs, what our mind needs, and what our heart needs. And in this density, we will fail if we have if we will fail if we have a harsh sometimes we fail because we need a harsh reminder to hit us over the head with a cosmic two by four we will continue to make those adjustments and work our way out of denial and into more clarity but all of our bodies will eventually fail us not because we are bad people but because we are infinite beings that struggle with being in a limited reality thanks everyone <laughs>